Oakland, an intersection of traditions, ground zero for gentrification. Oakland is getting all of this national and international attention as a go-to place. What makes Oakland beautiful is the diversity and its arts. We started collaborating with community groups and neighborhoods throughout Oakland, focused on painting pieces that were valued by the community. 14th and Alice Street gets the largest mural we've ever painted. Right across the street is the Malanga Cask Lord Center for the Arts. This center has put Oakland on the international map. It's no center like this in the world. This community in Chinatown dates back over 150 years. The theme of Chinatown is surviving and thriving. Immigrant communities come together and create these enclaves because it's about our survival. The development proposal before you is at the site of 14th and Alice Street. We expect to redevelop this property. The mural would be destroyed. The way in which neighborhoods change is deliberate. Right now, there is the interest to actually transform this city. Where is this plan coming from? And then how come they didn't tell any of us? No, we need to talk about how you're going to be a part of our community. We need to protect that legacy. We need to support Oakland artists, and we want equitable development now. It was really the mural that actually brought this coalition together. Oakland's community members are protesting fast-tracking of new developments in their neighborhood. What started with the mural actually led to a movement. We did not march to City Hall. We danced. <laughs> We're here to fight. We're here to stay. We're not going away in a time when folks are being divided. Art and culture is a way that really brings us together. Oakland is here! When you try to take that away, that is just straight up gentrification. Having places where your language and your identity and your history is affirmed is pretty critical. All of that is being threatened. Ancient rhythms, culture keepers, this is Corner 14.